Welcome to TMB Designs. I am Trevina, your host of this fabulous lifestyle channel. It is full of inspiration, motivation, and creativity. I desire to inspire you to make beautiful designs one space at a time. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl and I am back with today's shopping haul. And the title of this haul, you guys, as you can tell, is called Pretty Little Things. And I called it that for a number of reasons. Number one is because for me, I can't speak for you all, but for me, I've just kind of been in this whole little slump, just quarantined in the house, not getting out, just feeling a little lackluster, you know, not a lot of enthusiasm or motivation to get up and get judged up. So I decided just go online you know Amazon has kind of become my friend lately and I began to just shop around and I'm seeing all these pretty little things and I was like okay I buy a little bit here and I liked it I bought a little bit there and I liked it I said like, okay let me just kind of show the family what I have gathered and I'm gonna have me a beautiful um, sensual girl side in so I got some items to commemorate that. My birthday is in the month of May and I celebrate from day one to day 31. My birthday is not until the 25th, you guys, but I have always, since I was, I think since I turned 40, I have just made this this month, just a month to celebrate me. Why not? I spend all of my years, you know, all of my, the rest of the year, celebrating and honoring and serving people. I'm in a business of service as a stylist, as an event planner, as an educator, I serve. Even as a YouTuber, I serve. So I wanted to just take this month and just serve me, love me. And since I can't get out and do the things that I would normally do, doing my birthday celebration, like massaging and facials and just all those little things to pamper myself along the month, why not bring the party to me? Since I can't get out to the party, I'm bringing the party to me. So it'll be an intimate, ultimate girls' night in. And so I will share with you some of the essential items that I'm going to be using to have that said event. And the name of my shirt, Wake, Pray, and Slay, is what I intend to do every step of the way. So without any further ado, let's get into this pretty little thing essential haul. Okay guys, so now we are going to go into my whole little spa dinner um, portion of the haul. I had just kind of been laying around the house just feeling doom and gloom and I was like, I need some pick me up and what better way to get picked up than with something pretty, you know, just pretty little things that make you feel feminine and soft and just, you know, lighten your mood. So I started browsing on amazon.com, honey. That's, that's what did it. And just picking up essential things that I need during this time so along with some things that i need you know business wise so i will start out with my essential beauty items okay you guys i used to make my own just years ago when i first you know got into the whole education part of my business and uh, meaning hair shows stuff like that i was really heavily into like making my own oils and um, scalp oils and conditioners and shampoos and things and so during quarantine I kind of re, you know, kind of fell back in love with that. So I picked up some things that I needed to create some of my essential oils or some of my hair growth oils. And so I picked up some um, black castor oil, um, Jamaican black castor oil. I picked up some 100% peppermint oil. You see that peppermint oil? And then this is the black Jamaican um, castor, Jamaican black castor oil. So I got that. I picked up some pure um, Castile soap. Okay, and I think that is all that I, because I ordered some more things, they have not come in, but these are just some of the things that I use to make my shampoos, to make my growth oils, and I may do a video showing you guys how I do that, but I have some clients that have been requesting it, and I was like, I'm going to get back into it, so I'm going to make up some of those, okay? And then a lot of you ask me, or you comment about my skin, and you ask me, what's my skincare regimen? Honey, it is little to none, sad to say. Um... When I say little to none, I mean I do all natural um, ingredients in terms of skincare. I used to be the girl that would spend hundreds of dollars on all the skincare kits. I've done Estee Lauder. I've done Mary Kay. I've done um, even the, um, who was it? Had a, um, it was a model that had like this whole skincare regimen and you sign up for a monthly um, renewal membership. And I mean, I did it all proactive. You name it, I did it because I, when I was big on, on skincare, I used to have terrible, terrible acne. And it wasn't until I developed a healthier lifestyle that I realized your skin, your outer body is really, you know, derivative of what 
your inner body. So if you're not healthy on the inside, skin ain't gonna be healthy on the outside. If you don't drink your water, get your rest, you know, try to eat as healthy as possible, it's gonna show up in your skin. And so that was a major turning point for me. So for those that ask what I do, one thing I do most the more than anything else or more consistently than anything else, you guys, is I am a water drinker. I'm an avid water drinker. I drink at least um, 64 ounces or more per day. I just do. I love water. But in addition to drinking plenty of water, I do lemon water, cucumber water, mix them together. I do ginger water, ginger tea, just anything like that. But I try to keep myself really, really hydrated. And it makes a difference in your skin and your hair, guys. You would be amazed. So drink your water, number one, okay? And as far as my skin care, again, I keep it natural and I keep it simple. I was turned on to this product probably... 2002 2004 and i never looked back it has been a major game changer for me in skin care and it is not other than this it is the um organic black soap you guys i live by it i live by it, live by it, live by it. now i do know that not everybody can um handle it i've had my sisters try it one of them it worked for her the other one it Ride her out immensely. My daughter the same. So it's not for everybody, but for me, it works wonders. It comes in a solid form and it comes in a liquid form. Now, I don't get the one that's like solid black. It needs to be ugly and raw like that. It needs to look like that. You can get it in a jar. You can get it, um, like I said, in liquid form like this or just in bigger chunks, however you choose to. But this is my, my lifesaver. I use it daily on my face, day and night because it acts as a cleanser and as an exfoliant. So it is amazing in taking away all of the dead skin. Honey, I never, again, I never look back. So this has been my go-to, go-to since then. Now, as far as my moisturizer, you guys, again, I'm keeping it natural. 100% organic coconut oil. That is what I use. These items, you guys, I have purchased from um, my beauty supply store or I got it from Amazon. This is an Amazon purchase. If you see a price tag on it, that was at my local beauty supply store, which was this one and um, the Jamaican black cash oil. But everything else I'm sharing with you is from Amazon. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of getting into my whole little beauty resume and forgetting to tell you where I get everything from with this. You can also get this at Walmart, but Walmart was out. But this is the cold press unrefined that is what i use i use it literally from head to toe because i add this and my growth oil as well in the liquid form so coconut oil is is essential to honey moisturizing that skin keeping you nice and plump and just just oh my god i love me some coconut oil after a bath coconut oil is for scarring or pimples it helps to um clear up the scars without any markings just amazing I love it. I love it. And then, you guys, what I use for my toner, good old-fashioned lemons. I just take a lemon, cut it in half, rub it over. Sometimes I'll squeeze the lemon in the um, in a bowl and just use the juice from it. But I just like taking the lemon slice and just rubbing it all over my face. Letting it sit, you know, it's kind of blowing a little bit. It's nice, it's nice and breezy. And it feels amazing. That's what I use, you guys. Nothing major, no expensive products, you guys. I use black soap, coconut oil lemon juice and if i want to do a deep like a mask crack an egg whip it up let it sit on my face till it dries rinse off that's it i wish i had a magic potion for you guys but that is all i use on my skin nothing more nothing less okay now what i am going to be adding to it because i'm going to do this for several reasons one for the healthiness of the skin but this is also going to be beneficial to keeping my nasal passage clear of mucus because you know that's where that's where Rona want to live, honey. You need to clear yourself of mucus and keep your immune system built to its highest level possible. So, with that being said, I am going to be using this beautiful um, face steamer. I'm going to just take it and um, it's part of my regimen. Put some distilled water in here. Sit in front of it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Allow it to, you know, just open up the pores and get that nasal passage nice and open up. You can add essential oils if you like, but I'm just gonna do it with this plain water, okay? And then another beauty item, you guys, um, although my brows look snatched, baby, they are very, very anemic when it comes to the thickness of it all. And so one of my little go-to tricks is I color them. I pick this up from the Dollar Tree and then I get about six uses because it's a two ounce tube and you only need just a little smidget to color your brows. And so that's another little beauty tip for my brows. So I pick that up. 
I'm, again, I'm trying to make myself feel like something. I may just do an all day spa day, you know, pamper me day or whatever. I saw these with cute little um, head wraps, the little turbans. Came in my blue, so you know I was gonna get it right. So I picked that up. And then I'm gonna keep one of these little satin pillowcases for myself because, I mean, ladies, if you have a significant other, your hubby, they're visual, if you didn't know. And we can't be going to bed looking like Angie Mama every night. So toss that rag, get you a cute little satin pillowcase, and give your honey something to be visually pleased by. So don't take a, don't take offense, just hey, just a little tip now. A visual, we looking up in here looking like Celia from Color Purple. You gotta get a brother something to look at. So that's just my little personal um, ministering woman to woman, okay? And so keeping with that, I wanted to not only feel pretty, I wanted to look pretty. So I wanted to buy me some cute little PJs. And so nothing makes you feel more feminine than some nice sensual satin pajamas. So I picked these up, you guys, from Amazon. How cute is this? It's giving me total um, Victoria's Secret vibes. Just black, uh, pink pinstripe with the black trimming. I got the pants and the long sleeve top. If you're just lounging around, you don't have to lounge and look like, you know, you're just bumming. I know we have been, but hey, snap out of it let's let's get it together okay so i'm gonna get this i got this one it was you got 12.99 right and also with that whole vibe if you don't want the pjs you can do the nice little robe so stinking cute how fancy am i about to be even if you don't have a significant other just for, do it for yourself honey but i just i was i just want to feel pretty i just want to feel you know some sense of normalcy so i'm going to run me a nice hot bath do my whole little facial steam it you know all that good stuff put on my nice satin pajamas get me a glass of wine and just enjoy and make the best of this time that's what i'm gonna do okay now a few more things to add now these are not beauty items these are essential but they're not beauty items i spoke about getting your immune system up you guys if you have not heard of get yourself some elderberry vitamins whether gummy whether liquid peel form whatever but elderberry is a key essential um vitamin or nutrient that you can use to get your immune system up that along with ginger um anything to keep your nasal passage opened up to keep your immune system boosted you want to do that especially during these times we want to be cute but we also want to be healthy so i got one for me and one for my honey okay and then this one you guys i was um i'm all about following um holistic health care and all that type of stuff on IG and other social media platforms. And I heard someone speaking about the benefits of the silver, um, the, the colonnade um, silver. So I'm adding this to my little vitamin regimen. And it says it's proven to kill bacteria, proven to boost the immune system, and it's a natural antibiotic. So I am going to be adding this to my little regimen, you guys. You cannot be too healthy, that's for sure. So, okay, two more things. This is non-essential. It is really business related, but since I got it from Amazon, um, I just wanna share. Why not? I am going to be doing, I had, I told you guys I had several baby showers scheduled or several events scheduled um, right before um, the pandemic hit. And of course we have some scheduled for April, some scheduled for March and then late May. Well, the Marches and the Aprils want to push theirs back to sometime in May, and then the May going to switch back to June. So we'll see how things progress, but it looks like we're going to be able to have at least one of the smaller ones because it was a more intimate one anyways. And so I picked up for that baby shower. It's just a little stackable. I'll put a, try to insert a picture, but it's the stackable boxes where you can insert balloons or like whatever confetti to match the color scheme of the of the event. And then it has like the little letters to spell out baby all over the um, block. So I will insert a picture of that before I pick that up from Amazon, okay? And then last but not least, I am a little concerned about this particular item, but I wanted to open it up with you guys to see if you're tripping, if, or if I'm tripping, see if we're gonna be tripping together, okay? This, you guys, show you the package. See, nice, cute little package. How about, this is supposed to be a three-foot teddy bear. I don't see it, sis. But we're gonna open it up together and see what it looks like. I said, I'm gonna save this for my people, for my people. Because I cannot believe they package. I know they're good at packaging and conditions stuff down, but uh, it's a stuffed animal. It's supposed to be a three foot giant teddy bear in this package. Sis, I'm scared, but we're gonna see. 
we're going to see together. So let me cut as close to the top as possible so that I don't nick anything here. So tightly. I'm scared. And so this is kind of that thing that keeps me hesitant about buying stuff online. I was reluctant, you know, with Amazon and stuff, but I've had a few good experiences with Amazon. So I said, like, let me try it. So I ordered like a lot of the items I just shared with you guys. I ordered a little bit at a time because I was reluctant as to how it would come and would it be exactly what they say or what it looks like on, you know, the picture. And this is one of those examples of why I did not want to do it. Okay, let's see. I may be overreacting, but honey, this right here is a believe it or not moment. Ooh. This is supposed to be a teddy bear. You see this? Okay, she's, she's blowing up in my hand. Let's see. shocked and amazed oh my goodness okay well there she is i stand corrected so this is gonna be the cuteness of one of the um one of the showers so it'll be kind of like you've seen the little pictures where they have like the, the teddy bear holding the balloons and so this is so stinking cute but we're gonna we're gonna see i stand corrected so you guys that is it that's all that is everything i have for my amazon essential haul so until the next video, I want you all to have a blessed and most, most beautiful, beautiful day. Until the next one, smooches. Say bye, Teddy.